I'm kind of just like a mushroom. I'm a fun guy. How do I clean mushrooms? I don't even know. Uh, uh. Okay, we're gonna go with these wipes, baby wipes. Is there like water? Throw it in the water. Ew. Screw this. I have not actually touched mushrooms before. It's a little weird. This all we're doing is cleaning mushrooms? Dump it in the water, squirt a little bit, and, oh, just kidding. I guess you have to take time. Rub them like this. Leave them in there for a minute to get any residual. Is there some type of solution that I'm supposed to use? Anyone planning on eating these after I clean them? I think you should be scared. <laughs> what beautiful mushroom water I have now. You put this in the moonlight with some crystals. Ooh. There's those fairy tales where they live under mushrooms because they actually can get pretty big. It's like all kinds of black stuff coming through. What is this brown stuff? Is it dirt? I, I think that it's dirt. Dirt? It's just dirt. 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 Definitely dirt. My grandmother used to say, everybody has to eat a peck of dirt before they die. I don't know if anyone's aware of this, but they're grown in horse stuff. The toothbrush is calling me. Because I want to get Duffy Nook and Cranny. I feel like I'm brushing its hair. My little doll. You're looking like polished teeth. <sighs> What the? This is falling apart. It's taking the skin off. Does mushroom have skin? Well, it's taking off a lot. Oh my god, it's like disappearing. <laughs> They're slimy. A little slimy. slimy. So clean it slipped out of my hand. Cutting it will get the dirt out. This is not making me like mushrooms anymore. <laughs> I just know them as a pizza topping, and I don't like them as that. They remind me of aliens. It's like, fucking, it's like gills. I hate mushrooms because they're fungus. I don't understand who was the first person to pick these off the ground and said, let me just try this. When I came back from vacation this summer, there was a mushroom growing from my ceiling. I had to spray it down with bleach. Do we have any bleach here? They're clean. Semi-clean mushrooms. Lost one, but that's okay. Clean. Clean mushrooms. I don't think I did anything. They look dirtier than when I started. Let's, let's be real here. <laughs> Shiny, clean mushrooms. A couple of them, actually, some of them are still dirty. Ooh, there's water in this? Well, fuck. I'm gonna clean these mushrooms. Let's get cleaning. This is a very dirty mushroom. Get a paper towel or something, a cloth. Just take a little water. Don't want it to be too wet. Wipe off any excess dirt. Gently brush. You don't want to break the mushroom down. All right. You can use the back of a knife and just move that stuff. Look at these beautiful mushrooms. I don't want to use water, because water tends to get them all soggy and stuff. Because mushrooms will absorb lots and lots of water. A toothbrush will help. If you guys ever want to paint a mushroom, this is how you do it. I feel like Picasso. You can cheat and do that, and that'll take care of a lot of the bottom stuff as well. Usually I don't mind if there's a little bit of dirt on them, because it sort of disappears when you cook them. Dirt's not going to kill you, though, right? Or it might. <laughs> the sediment is usually dirt from the soil that the mushrooms are harvested from. I never buy mushrooms, but I will eat them. Frankly, they freak me out. I don't know which ones will kill me or not. Mushrooms are fungus, and fungus is very valuable to an ecosystem, but not valuable to my taste buds. <laughs> Done. That's it. All you have to do is wipe them off. Here we have it. Behold. Clean mushrooms. Clean mushrooms. We're going to clean some mushrooms and we're starting with a basic white button mushroom. Commonly people want to take the mushroom and submerge it into a bowl of water. But submerging them in water, they act like a sponge. They're gonna to start to absorb that water and then when we go to cook them, they're gonna release the water and they just get soggy and mushy. So what I actually like to do for a mushroom is just use a very slightly damp paper towel. First, wipe away anything that's loose on the surface, working my way around. Now, if I'm using a mushroom like a chanterelle or a morel mushroom, something with a lot of nooks and crannies, I may wanna grab a brush or even a toothbrush to do so. But something that's smooth like a typical portobello mushroom or a cremini or a button mushroom, all I really need is a damp paper towel and I'm good to go. And that's our clean mushroom. Clean mushrooms. 
clean mushrooms in dirt soup. So clean and pristine. Actually, there's some, some dirt on that one, so, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, these mushrooms are clean enough for me. They're cleaner than they were. If you look at the water, 